you guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, this is like a late, you know, video for you guys. I have been busy today was my mom's birthday. So I was out, you know, hanging out with her. Um, so yeah. Anyways, we're going to be starting Haikyuu um, season four and I'm very, 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 very excited. I know it's been a little, you know, time for me to get into it, but you guys know how I feel about Haikyuu. Haikyuu is the feels in the sports is just like, I love it. So yeah, um, I believe we have actually saw the Nekoma team uh, go against Fukuro Dani and they had, from what you guys told me, because I kind of got the um, OVA kind of mixed up, that they had lost and then they had to go against the, what was it the heavy, the, the snake team and they actually beat the snake team. And then Tokyo has a total of three teams to pass. So even though they didn't go, well, they didn't beat um, Bokuto's team. They still made the top three, so they are going to the national tournament thing. Now, we already know that Nekoma, not Nekoma, but um, Karasuno is definitely going. So hopefully we get to see the big dump, um, the trash dump game. Is what I, I forgot what it was called off the top of my head. But I just really want Nekoma and Karasuno to go against each other, at least, you know, for this one time since Karasuno hasn't been that um talented in the previous years when daichi suga and um asahi there we go suga asahi and um daichi they really didn't haven't had a great team until now which is their last year which is kind of sad because i know they put so much uh effort into this team so at least their last third year in the school they will be able to go against um in the tournament and go against nekoma and just have all of their you know hard work be worth something at the end so hopefully we actually come up uh, with a win but i don't know because bokuto's team seems pretty pretty strong especially if nekoma hasn't beat them so yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and jump on into season four i am so excited guys like a <laughs> who is this it seems like the arch changed a little bit Congratulations, I'm going to the whole spring final to my mom. Yeah, we did it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> They're probably like this cute girl talking to him. Oh, Lord. Three curry buns. <laughs> they are waging food. Introductions. She did such a great job doing those. <laughs> they try to hook him up. Boy, you better flourish. His voice sounds familiar. He's still short. One? I know it was one centimeter. <laughs> His laugh. <laughs> or show you point nine. <laughs> oh gosh, how much taller did he get? <laughs> Hella tall. <laughs> That's not gross. They're so funny. <laughs> Go ahead, Suki. <laughs> Shayo's face. <laughs> He's like, I play basketball. <laughs> Spider Man. I thought they already did this before. Oh, snap. What? He passed Suki. And Suki's taller. <laughs> They're so darn. They're so dang on it. They look how serious they are. <laughs> look at their faces. Yeah, I've always seen this part before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Look at surprise. I love how they wager food. I love that. Oh, that's right. We did end here. Okay. Look at us. Everybody's in awe. Wow, that's a great opportunity. They're going to be playing together? Wow, two years from now. Is that Nishi Noi on his back? What the heck? He should go. Oh, look, look, Captain speaking up. What about you? They invite you. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh, I love him. <laughs> His world just crashed. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> Nishi <Nishinoya>. Noi. <laughs> Ooh, maybe Shoyo will probably get recruited for that. Ah. Oh, so let me pick those two. I know Tanaka. Oh, so Shoya wasn't able to go either. Daichi. <laughs> you can't say no. Oh, he's getting looked over. <laughs> oh. I know this has to grind his gears. I'm so shocked they didn't invite Shoyo. Come on, saying, why not me? So when Kagayama is gone, who will be there training with Shoyo? Because it's usually those two. He's going to be training by himself? It has to really bother him that he's going ahead of him. Let's see if he actually read them correctly. Do not tell him he went to that school. He ain't go to that school, did he? Oh, okay, this is where Suki is. What the hell, show it? Did he, did this child just sneak in? And why didn't Suki say anything? He's sweating. Just ignore Yo, he <laughs> I love him. Oh, I can see this man. I'm sorry, guys. Ah, that's true. You guys, 
He's gonna let him stay. Shut up. He's gonna be a spiker. I wanna see him play. Great thing is he's probably gonna get a lot of experience going to this darn camp and then that'll help him with Karasuno, right? Oh! So are they going to let him actually participate or just be a ball boy? Mm, so he, that's right. He only wants the strong, like overall players. See? Hmm. I don't like this. They value him on the strength, on the basis of Kageyama. Because he's just going to be a ball boy. No, he's not just going to prove him wrong. Ibarida. Hey, hey. He seems pretty nice. Go berserk. I'm surprised Oikawa's not on here. Oh, no, he's a third year, so I guess it wouldn't. His hair reminds me of Bokuto's a little bit. That's for you. Take your stand, honey. And my position's. I laugh at him so bad. I feel as if this is going to be a growing moment for the old man too. He's going to prove you. Oh, he go look, look, look at. He's going to prove you wrong, Odie. He go prove you wrong. <laughs> so he looks so freaking embarrassed. You know. <laughs> oh my god, he's like a volleyball Oscar. <laughs> But will being a ball boy actually help Hinata? Hmm. Oh. He's not feeling well? <sighs> it's not. Okay, good. <sighs> okay so they're not actual players that are training they're just extra ball boys <sighs> Ooh, he's already messing up So I guess he's in a little bit of training. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Are those other coaches? I was he listening to it. Can he hear him? He's actually watching all their moves. It's like he's analyzing everything. Look how focused he is. I love him. Turn up head. He's actually hanging in there and practicing. I hope this actually helped him because I, I know he sees Suki and then Kagayama, you know, going further and training harder. 
Kageyama didn't help the situation either. He's trying to fill the old man out. Oh, okay. He was trying to fill him out to see if he'll let them let him join the practice practice, but he's saying no. He's going to go. <laughs> His face, like he's constipated. But it's like, will he actually get any practice in to better himself? So, would it actually be beneficial for him to be there yet practice with his team? Oh, so being a ball boy is not just easy, is what they're making it seem. <laughs> I remember when they knocked this freaking toupee off his head. Ooh. Why is the principal hiding? <laughs> He looks drained. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, it's so good. <laughs> I was like, it's a couple of parts. Oh, big bro Tanaka. Gotta love him. Do you see Noya? Come on, show you. Oh, he's so attentive. Look at his eyes. Ooh. Good catch. Oh, he's trying to show off. He's trying to show off. Ooh, she walk up. Oh, I love his. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. He's like a volleyball celebrity. Oh, I know that's going to kill him that he can't play. He's not playing. Oh, they don't know that he's just a ball boy. Like what? Oh, this would fucking kill me. It would kill me. This would kill me. That I couldn't play. Ooh, blocked. Dang, shut down. Ooh. So heavy. Get up, boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love him. Starting from the bottom. He didn't even give me an answer. So what does he mean? Why would he lose Hinata? Yeah, he has a mom. Yes, he does.
was he talking? What, what does he mean by that? Does he mean the other coach is thinking too about the betterment of Hinata? Oh, he didn't even know the answer to that question. That's why he wasn't able to answer. What are you doing? <laughs> Poor Hinata. Oh, he's thinking of what he... Okay. I wonder what his answer is to that question then. All right, you guys. So it seems as though um, Hinata is had got caught off guard with Ushiwaka's a question. So it wasn't that he didn't have time to actually voice his his answer, but more so he didn't have the answer to the question that Ushiwaka was um asking him so now i'm wondering now it seems like he he's it's something has clicked to where he's figuring out what is it some like what is it that only he could possibly do to make this situation a good one okay for him because again him just being a ball boy via him practicing while going to this tournament you at first you have to think like what would be actually better for him um, being a ball boy, flipping numbers or just catching balls and stuff, would that actually provide him a better foundation, um, going into this, uh, tournament or would he have a better foundation if he just went to practice and was able to work with his team and, um, get work on things that he needs to get better exactly right now? Because even, um, uh, sensei has said he has a mountain of things that he needs to work on now when you think about it at first i was kind of like in disbelief that they didn't invite hinata but when you do think about it a lot of hinata's successes has been because of kageyama so really what has he um done on his own that makes him so different from anybody else he hasn't been a solid one player that you know, can work on his own. He, oh, he has always needed Kageyama in some way or form. That's why he kind of noticed that uh, more so with the, la the later half of season three is that he wanted to do more. He wanted to be uh, a player that he can play on his own and not be dependent on Kageyama. So, I mean, he everybody has no noticed this. He himself has noticed this. And it just hurts to where he's probably thinking like he's doing all these things so he's not getting left behind. And then when opportunities come, for camps and training he's being looked over and it's more so I think for me from what I'm getting at it's more like a reality check of he has to understand he's just not at the current level um to where the other ones are as in skill because he has lacked training uh, since he started so late but it doesn't mean he's a bad player he just needs to be polished a lot more than the average person he doesn't have the height you know what i'm saying he doesn't have much of the experience as the other players so he is kind of at a disadvantage already because of his height and stuff and then like i said the lack of um experience and refinement he doesn't have so hopefully with him being this ball boy and having uh, Shiro Torizawa's coach there it being hard on him as hard as he is at this moment because he has been on Hinata a lot more than the other ball boys he, he should be able to polish a little bit more but I'm very curious to see exactly what is he going to be polishing so I, I'm happy that he didn't get kicked out because I know that would have been a freaking bummer for him but in a sense it's like I'm still kind of up and down about if this is going to be actually what's best for him in the long run and not hurt him not being able to practice with his team hopefully we get to see a little bit more of Kageyama's practice with this all Japan squad and uh, we saw a brief moment with them but hopefully next episode we see a little bit more because it seems like we have these cool looking characters one with the eyebrows and then the tall dude I guess he's like um the best spiker or whatever um and the, the lime yellow the bright neon colored um jumpsuits that they have i want to know exactly 
what is going to happen between him and Kageyama because Kageyama is the fucking setter and then we have this dude who is the spiker and the height difference between Hinata and him is really really big so I, I want to see more so how they're going to be able to to work together so yeah I'm very I'm very excited for this season I'm ready to see exactly what's going to all happen and occur so yeah thank you guys for watching this reaction and I will catch you guys in the next one peace <laughs>